My name is Joe Mulligan. My organization is called Kunkui Design Initiative, or KDI for short. And the mission of our uh, organization is to um, work with under-resourced communities to advance equity. And we do that through a combination of uh, design and construction, advocacy, research, and planning and programming. What led me to engineering originally was, I think, a combination of things. My dad uh, was and is a, a landscape builder, so when I was younger I was always on site building stuff and I loved that process of kind of thinking of um, how to put things together and create something on the ground. But I also was into uh, physics and maths and science. And I guess the third piece would be um, working with, with people. When Engineers Without Borders UK um, really started offering placements in 2003, 2004, I applied and I was a, a year long, the first year long volunteer for Engineers Without Borders UK in Nigeria. My involvement with Engineers Without Borders UK has definitely had a, a significant impact on my uh, career. That's been the, um, the basis of a lot of things that have um, come together in, in KDI, uh, in my organisation. And it's been about pairing technical knowledge and understanding with community voices and community uh, skills. I often think about the Kate Raworth's uh, uh, donut analogy, which is uh, to think about the world as, as a kind of a finite set of resources that we have to manage and um, live within. And the, on the inside of the donut, there's a need to expand basic human rights and access to basic services, water and sanitation. Um, and uh, on the outside, there are these kind of limits to, uh, to, 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 to planetary existence, our climate, our soils, our oceans. And I feel that engineers are working on both uh, pieces of the rings of the donut, if you like. And our job on the inside is to expand that access to, to the many people who don't have it. And on the outside is to make sure that we can live within these planetary boundaries. To be globally responsible, I think we also have a, um, a need and a responsibility to be able to work, uh, understand, appreciate other disciplines, voices and priorities from beyond the, the kind of pure technical understanding of the problem. And that's really my definition of a globally responsible engineer, is someone who can do the technical piece but also understand all the other uh, components of what makes up a sustainable trajectory for our planet. As a profession, we're uh, very risk aware, and that's a fundamental and very important part of, of what we do. And um, I think that what I would encourage us to do as a profession as a, and as our engineers is to take our skills and our, um, our professional discipline and, and all the rigor that comes with that and put it in new environments. To, to take a risk and, and, and see ourselves in different settings, interacting with different professions, interacting with different communities, and actually sharing uh, the process and the skills that we have in a much more broader and inclusive way.